Raising native chickens is a rewarding experience, connecting you to a more sustainable lifestyle. These birds are not just livestock, they become a part of your daily life, offering a sense of fulfillment and purpose. The bond you form with them is unique as you nurture and care for them, watching them grow and thrive. Imagine collecting fresh, flavorful eggs from your backyard every morning. These eggs are not only delicious but also packed with nutrients, far superior to store-bought ones. The satisfaction of knowing exactly where your food comes from, and the effort you put into it, makes each meal more meaningful. Native breeds, known for their hardiness and adaptability, thrive in various environments. Whether you live in a rural area or have a small urban backyard, these chickens can adjust and flourish. Their resilience makes them ideal for different climates and conditions, ensuring you have a robust flock year-round. They are excellent foragers controlling pests and fertilizing your garden naturally. By scratching the soil and eating insects, they help maintain a healthy ecosystem in your garden. This natural pest control reduces the need for harmful chemicals, promoting a more organic and eco-friendly way of gardening. Beyond the practical benefits, raising chickens brings joy and entertainment. Watching their quirky behaviors and interactions can be a delightful pastime. They provide endless amusement with their antics, making them a wonderful addition to any family. Watching chicks grow into healthy adults is a fulfilling experience for all ages. It teaches children about responsibility and the cycle of life, fostering a sense of empathy and care for living creatures. The process of raising chicks to adulthood is a journey filled with learning and wonder. Native chickens are well-suited for backyard flocks, their manageable size and friendly nature make them perfect for small spaces. They can easily be integrated into suburban settings, providing a touch of rural charm to your home. Their calm temperament makes them good companions. They are generally docile and easy to handle, making them suitable for families with children. The gentle nature of native chickens ensures that they can be safely interacted with, providing a soothing presence in your backyard. They are also relatively low maintenance, requiring basic care and attention. Simple tasks like refilling water, providing feed, and cleaning the coop are all it takes to keep them healthy and happy. Their low upkeep makes them an ideal choice for those new to raising poultry. Raising native chickens is a great way to become more self-sufficient, providing your family with nutritious eggs and enriching your connection with nature. It encourages a more sustainable lifestyle where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor and teach future generations the importance of self-reliance and environmental stewardship. Before your chicks arrive, it's essential to prepare a brooder, a safe and warm haven where they can thrive during their first few weeks of life. This space will be their home, providing them with the necessary warmth, comfort, and security they need to grow strong and healthy. A simple plastic tub or a large cardboard box works well as a brooder. These materials are easy to find and set up, making them ideal for new chick owners. Ensure the brooder is spacious enough for the chicks to move around freely as they grow. Line the bottom of the brooder with a thick layer of absorbent bedding, such as pine shavings. This bedding will help keep the brooder clean and dry by absorbing moisture and droppings, creating a comfortable environment for the chicks. Avoid using cedar shavings as they can cause respiratory problems in chicks. Cedar contains aromatic oils that can be harmful to their delicate respiratory systems. Instead, opt for safer alternatives like pine or aspen shavings. Place a heat lamp or a brooder plate securely at one end of the brooder. This heat source is crucial for maintaining the right temperature as chicks cannot regulate their body temperature during their first few weeks. This setup creates a temperature gradient within the brooder, allowing chicks to choose their comfort zone. They can move closer to the heat source if they are cold or away from it if they are too warm, ensuring they stay comfortable. Ensure the temperature directly under the heat source is around 95 degrees Fahrenheit for the first week. Use a thermometer to monitor the temperature accurately, as maintaining the correct warmth is vital for the chick's health and development. Gradually reduce the temperature by 5 degrees each week until the chicks are fully feathered. This gradual reduction helps them acclimate to cooler temperatures and prepares them for life outside the brooder. By the time they are fully feathered, they will be ready to move to their permanent coop. Day-old chicks are delicate and need constant care. Ensure they have access to fresh water at all times. Use a shallow waterer designed for chicks to prevent drowning. Dip their beaks gently in the water to teach them where to drink. Feed your chicks a starter feed specifically formulated for their nutritional needs. 
This feed contains a higher protein content crucial for their growth and development. Scatter a small amount of feed on a clean surface, like a piece of cardboard, to encourage foraging instincts. As your chicks grow, their space requirements increase. Around three to four weeks old, they are ready to move from the brooder to a larger grow-out pen. This can be a spacious indoor pen or a secure outdoor run. Ensure adequate ventilation and protection from predators. Continue providing a heat source for the first few days in the grow-out pen, especially during colder weather. Gradually reduce the heat as they acclimate to the new environment. Provide perches at various heights to encourage exercise and develop their leg muscles. Section 5. From Chick Feed to Kitchen Scraps, Adjusting the Diet. As chicks transition into young chickens, their dietary needs change. Around six weeks old, gradually introduce a grower feed, which has a slightly lower protein content than starter feed. Supplement their diet with healthy treats like chopped greens, fruits, and vegetables. Offer your chickens kitchen scraps in moderation. Avoid feeding them avocado, raw potato, chocolate, or moldy food, which can be toxic. Grit, such as crushed oyster shells, is crucial for digestion, especially for chickens that have access to whole grains or scratch. Section 6. Keeping them healthy. Routine health checks and vaccinations. Regular health checks are essential for maintaining a thriving flock. Observe your chickens daily for any signs of illness, such as lethargy, loss of appetite, or respiratory distress. Check for external parasites like lice or mites by examining their feathers and skin. Consult a veterinarian experienced with poultry for vaccinations and deworming schedules. Vaccinations protect against common poultry diseases while deworming eliminates internal parasites that can hinder growth and egg production. Section 7. Free Range or Confinement Deciding what's best. Deciding between free range and confinement systems depends on your space, resources, and preferences. Free range chickens enjoy foraging for insects and plants, enriching their diet and promoting natural behaviors. However, they are more susceptible to predators and require secure fencing. Confinement systems like chicken tractors or stationary coops offer better protection from predators and allow for easier monitoring, ensure adequate space for exercise, dust bathing, and perching within the confinement area. Section 8. Introducing new members. Integrating pullets into the flock. Integrating new pullets or young female chickens into an existing flock requires careful introduction to minimize stress and aggression. Start by keeping the new birds in a separate coop or pen within sight and earshot of the established flock for a few days. Gradually, allow supervised interactions between the new and existing birds, starting with short periods in a neutral area. Observe their behavior closely for signs of aggression. Once they tolerate each other peacefully, they can be integrated into the main flock. Section 9. From Pullet to Layer. The Anticipation of the First Egg. This is a moment every backyard chicken keeper eagerly awaits. Around 16 to 24 weeks old, depending on the breed, your pullets will begin laying eggs. This period is filled with anticipation and excitement as you watch your young hens mature. This exciting milestone marks their transition into adulthood. The first egg is a significant event, symbolizing the start of a productive phase in your flock's life. The first few eggs might be smaller or have irregularly shaped shells, but this is normal and will improve over time. These initial eggs are often called pullet eggs and are a sign that your hens are just getting started. Provide plenty of nesting boxes filled with clean, soft bedding to encourage egg laying in designated areas. Nesting boxes should be comfortable and inviting to ensure your hens feel safe and secure when laying their eggs. Collect eggs daily to prevent breakage and deter pests. Regular collection also helps maintain the cleanliness of the nesting area and ensures that the eggs remain fresh. Enjoy the fruits of your labor-fresh, nutritious eggs from your very own backyard flock. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of collecting eggs that your hens have laid, knowing that they are a product of your care and dedication. Share the joy with your family and friends and take pride in the wholesome, homegrown food you provide. The journey from pullet to layer is a rewarding experience filled with moments of joy and fulfillment. Section 10. Troubleshooting. Common problems and solutions. Even with the best care, chickens can encounter health issues or behavioral problems. Common problems include egg eating, feather pecking, and respiratory infections. 
Identifying the cause and implementing solutions quickly is crucial. Provide a balanced diet, ample space and environmental enrichment to prevent behavioral issues. Isolate sick chickens immediately to prevent the spread of disease. Consult a veterinarian for diagnosis and treatment recommendations. Section 11, the rewards of raising chickens, fresh eggs and more. Raising native chickens is a rewarding experience that extends beyond fresh eggs. It fosters a deeper connection with nature, promotes sustainability, and provides valuable life lessons. The joy of watching chicks grow into healthy, productive adults is immeasurable. Embrace the journey of raising native chickens and enjoy the countless benefits they bring to your life. From the delicious eggs to the captivating antics of your feathered friends, raising chickens is an enriching experience for the entire family.